Hello everybody. All right, so I decided that I should do a YouTube makeup channel because I'm always doing makeup looks and posting them, posting the products, but I never really like, show you guys the whole thing. So we're gonna see how this goes and go from there. All right, so. Also, I have like a weird setup, so it's not like all right in front of me, but it's fine. All right, cat hair, because you know, that's what happens. All right, so. I have two cats, if you don't already know. All right, so I'm gonna take some primer. This is my favorite primer ever. It's called Hydro Grip Primer by Milk Makeup. It's literally the best. I put it right on with my hands because honestly, there's no better tool than just feeling your own skin. So I put a little bit on my eyes I don't want to let that dry. They say 60 seconds, but like I kind of like fan myself. So, but you want to wait until it gets tacky. That's the whole point. So it like grips the makeup. Get it? All right. So, um, I kind of picked out what I want to do today. I want to do like a fall look because it is October 1st, um, which means we're going to use some orange eyeshadow because. It's the first day of Halloween, guys. 31 days of Halloween, absolutely. So, first thing that I'm gonna do is my eyes. I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. I'm gonna open it up so you guys can see because there's so many colors in this. But look at this. All these right here, this just screams fall, right? So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I put a little primer on. I'm actually gonna go in, now there's so many different primers that I'll, that I can use and I'll show you guys as I go, but I'm actually gonna use some Tarte Shape Tape right underneath it to give it a really good color. I'll go in with my Beauty Blender and just do this right here. I'm gonna use this as my um, what's it called? Help me, primer there. All right, hold on. I need to get my mirror. All right, we're back. So, see, just from going downstairs to get my other mirror, it starts to crease a little bit. So I'll just go back in, just like that. All right, so let's have some fun. All right, I am in no way, shape, or form a perfectionist when it comes to makeup. By that, I mean, I'm not the best at it, but I like to have fun with it. So let me try to find the right brush here. Okay, I always have a towel behind me because I'm always like wiping it off. <sighs> okay, so I wanna do like an orangey brown, like fall look to kind of like go with my sweater here. So what should we do guys? What should we do? I probably do this um, very often. I like look and I'm like, oh my gosh, so many possibilities. All right. So I'm thinking of using these colors by Jaclyn Hill, G Money and Feeling Myself. I'm going to do like a combo of that. Okay. So first thing I'm going to go in with G Money right around the outside and see how that's like a really nice, like orangey it's like a warm brown tone which is perfect for fall like this shade is october we love to see it all right i'm gonna go in my crease there i'm gonna blend it out a little bit more up here Voila. Now I take it all the way over. I'm 
I'm sure you guys are gonna see me make all the weird faces. All right, yeah, yeah. All right, fabulous. And then we're gonna repeat that on the other side. You know how everyone has like a good hand and a bad hand and a good hand and a bad, a good side and a bad side? The left side is not my friend. I'm like always, I always have a harder time with the left side than I do the right side. Okay, so. It's not a great shade though, guys. All right, I'm just kind of going in like a circle circle motion to just blend that out. All right, bubble, bubble. Beautiful, okay. Now I'm gonna go in with my orange color. So first, I need, oh, I should probably show you guys like what brush I used. Just this kind of a brush, a smaller one because I like it to be more concentrated for the dark color, but it still has a little bit of fluff to it. Oh, I just found this earring. I've been looking for that. All right, so for the orangey color, I'm gonna use kind of like one of these. See, so cute, okay. Um, this one is a Sephora brush, they're really good. Um, I will say you guys don't have to spend a ton of money on brushes. Um, you can, I mean, you can, and I do, but the stores like have pretty good brushes. All right, I'm gonna take some of this color, feel myself, and this is what I'm gonna use for the lid. We love uh, to see it. All right. Honestly, look at that. Like, if that's not fall, then what is? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Boom. We love it. Okay. All right. Oh. See, I'm a mess. I take this up a little bit blend it in here now sometimes I do this and then I have to go back in with the other color that's totally fine to see how now this side's more orange than the other so I will go back in with G money and kind of just bring that brown color a little bit back up here but I almost like how this one blended out a little bit more than the other one I swear getting things even is like the hardest thing to do. So we're gonna actually take a little bit more orange and go up here a little bit more to try to create the same effect. And then go back in with G Money and do a little bit more brown here. Now this look would look so good with like a brown eyeliner. Yeah, see how see how messy I am? That's why. But I really love this eye, guys. And this is only two colors. I mean, you don't have to get like super crazy and do like 900 colors and like do a cut crease and you totally can if you want. And I love to do that sometimes, but like uh, we don't have time for that today. So, all right. Um, I do need a Q-tip, which is right behind me. Thank you. I'm gonna go in and kind of like clean this up right here. It gets a little chaquad, if you will. All right. Fabulous. Okay. So, um, today for, so that's what I do first. And then if I do eyeliner or anything, I'll do it afterwards. Sometimes I do my face first, but I just want to do the eyes for you guys today because I feel like that's the main part of the video we want like the fall look so today i'm going to use the cap on d good apple which is so nice um the first thing that i noticed about the good apple is that a little bit goes a long way <sighs> i want the right brush for this so <laughs> if you can see i kind of like dug in like too much one time and then it was like <laughs> so literally just like go in like really really light at first oh maybe that's a little too light but you're gonna wanna go in, you're not gonna wanna like scoop it out. 
because it's just too much. See? See what just that little, little bit did for this entire side of my face. Again, this is another Sephora. This is a Sephora and Milk collab brush. But like, look at, look at, that's just one really light. I'm trying to show you guys the difference here. But it's a really nice foundation. I really like it. Look at the difference though. Look at how smooth this side of my face is. I'll do one of these. I mean, my skin's not bad. I'm not complaining about that, but it's so nice to just have that like nice, smooth, even look. Okay. So we're gonna do the rest of my face. <laughs> all right and i usually like I'm more careful around my eyebrows i have my eyebrows microbladed actually if you can see shout out to permanent makeup by natalie and cranston on reservoir she's fabulous um so i try not to get too much makeup in my eyebrows because then i definitely I have to go back in and either clean them or put something else in there. But right now, I'm doing a pretty decent job. <laughs> okay. So, how is this, people? Honestly, I really like a. Oh, oh, see that? It's either a cat hair or who knows? Probably a cat hair. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit extra on my nose, around my nose here, and up here. And see, I'm like patting and like blending. I don't like to rub it too much. I almost like pat it into my skin. Oh my gosh, this hair, guys, this hair this can you see it won't leave me alone okay so fabulous um this is a little light for me right now actually because i went to mexico yada 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 so i was like super super tan but this is medium 39 it almost looks lighter on my face than it does in here but that's okay because we're gonna put other stuff on so do, 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 do. next step so i've used this a lot lately the born this way multi-use um sculpting concealer kind of just like i use the tarte shape tape for my eyes you can you do this for your eyes but this one i'm going to use as my concealer i'm going to put a little bit here a little bit here a little bit here a little bit here i put a little bit on my nose a little bit on my forehead and a little on my chin So you always want to go in with a wet beauty blender. So I'm gonna make this a little damp here. Yeah, you're right next to my sink because we're like a really classy setup right here. Also, if you hear random man yelling, it's because they're painting my front door. So sorry about that. Um, okay, damp. You don't want it wet, you want it damp. And then you're just gonna go in and boop, boop, boop. And blend that in. You can start wherever you want. It depends on my mood. Sometimes I start under the eyes, sometimes I start on the forehead. I just like this because I think it helps me contour better. Okay. And I kind of just take that up right along the eyeshadow line there. You don't want to mess that up but you can already see it's brightened yeah you can already see i messed that up we'll go back in that's fine um like i said i'm no nikki tutorials over here but um but you can tell like from here see where it here see the difference 
it's nice see i got a little bit in there that's fine go back and i touch it up that's why a lot of times to be honest i'll do my face makeup first because i'm not like gentle enough <laughs> to not have to go back in but it's fine guys honestly it's fun it's not a big deal all right sometimes i put like too much on so i have to bring it up with my temples that's okay too you know work with what you got here all right I'm not even going to bother with the eyeshadow right now. I'll go in later and do it because, yeah. But see how I kind of like cut it off on both sides? Like it needs to be blended out. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. So, that is my concealer. Okay. So, we're going to go in with some powder just to set that. Um, I'm looking for which powder I want to use. You know what? I'm going to use this. This is a hydrating complexion trio that I got in one of my like boxy charms or something, but I really like it. It's really nice to travel with because it's so easy. You have like all of your things like right here. So we are going to go in with the banana powder color and set under the eyes now i love banana powder for under my eyes because i obviously have more of an olive complexion and it really just brightens for me and i need that not that i have like super dark circles or anything but i love the brightness underneath the eyes okay see that All right, we're not gonna bake today. We're just gonna go in with a little bit of powder. Do, 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 do. Fabulous. <sighs> All right, then I'm gonna go in with one of my new favorite things, if I can find it, <clears throat> because I'm a little chaquat over here. Oh, okay, we're gonna do this one. So I'm gonna use some liquid blush and I've really been loving this lately. I'm actually going to do this before the powder because, so this one, this is this in her blush. It's called blush. Blush. Um, and it is made by Mitchell in the UK. I really love it. It's super fun. I won't even lie. Like, just like the name blush got me. So I'm going to do a little bit here. And I blend this with my finger because, again... I just think that that's the best. And you've been seeing like the TikTok trends. Some people put it on their nose. Some people do whatever you want. I'm just going to put it high up. See, I just blend it with my finger because I honestly just think that's the best way to do it. And you definitely have to rub it out because... This, especially this color because it's like a very like bright color again I love a bright color and then if you need more you don't feel like it or you feel like it doesn't go in enough you can always go back but sometimes I'll go because I still have like from cheek to cheek I've really been loving the liquid blush lately though I just think it's fun okay Okay, and also, like, you want to make sure that you're even. That's kind of hard, too. Because you can put the same amount of product, then you can blend it differently, yada yada. Boom. Oh, I kind of look like a clown right now. I love it. It's okay. It actually gets a little bit lighter, and I'm going to put some setting powder over everything. That definitely... Um, makes it look a little bit different okay so i've been loving the charlotte tilbury um setting powder that i got i use the medium two so we're gonna go in and just set the rest of the face i feel like i'm like already sweating guys like why probably because i'm in this big giant sweater like it's the first day of october i'm gonna need it to cool down a little bit more Okay, like over here, where you put that banana powder, you just kind of like wipe off the excess too. 
I would also use this to kind of like blend the blush out a little bit. See how it already looks a little bit more blended. I really love this. It makes your face look so even. Like, look at that. Like airbrush, literally. Just like the title says. Okay. Then we're gonna go in with bronzer. And that's what I'm gonna use to contour today. And I'm like all over the place. I'm like in and out, sorry. Um, you can look at my beautiful, um, that's me trying to paint the bathroom. Trying to fix some little things there. It's really cute, right? Okay. Now, I don't want to do like a super intense contour today. So I'm going to go in with my um, big NARS Paradise Found. Look at this. So when it came before I used it, it had like this gold glitter on it. And I was just like obsessed. It's packaging for me, guys. Oh, I love it. Okay. So I'm going to use this to kind of carve out my cheekbones. Now, this isn't the darkest contour that I have. But I actually like that for today. I'm going to come up here. Give it a little. So I have a round face. So I have to do at least a little bit of contouring. Like every time. But you guys might not need as much as me if you have more of a natural cheekbone. Which, sorry. Thanks, Dad. I got that from you. I did not get that. I usually go a little bit under my chin to give it a little bit more of a pronounced look and see you can tell how it at least like really blends nicely with that blush up oh. is that my car nope okay all right i'm also gonna take a little bit on the sides of my nose I did a nose contour yesterday on the channel too, so you guys can check it out. I am not a huge nose contour. I will do a little bit of bronzer on either side, but that's good for my nose shape. So see, like this is perfect for me. This is like a good, just, I don't wanna say light, but it's like a, it's like a, it's a nice contour. It's not like super over, overbearing. I could totally do it a lot heavier if I wanted to, but that's just not the thing today. I'm just gonna go in and clean that up down there. All right, so that is my complexion. Now I'm gonna go back in. I'm actually gonna go in with the same brushes because I haven't cleaned them yet, but um, just to kind of like blend these out because remember how I told you that and see you don't have to put more product on them because there's product that's already on the brush so like I'm gonna go back in with the one that I used for the G money and just see how it's a lot more blended out than this one that's cut off see the difference this one makes your eye look shorter so I'm gonna do that over here too just want to blend that right out and like I said, you don't have to put more product on for this. This is literally just blending. I just want to do it in like a circular motion. Now, I really want the eyeshadow to have the attention today. So I don't think I'm going to do a super heavy um, like eyeliner look. I'll look up and just kind of like blend it down a little bit too. I'm not going to do a whole under eye. Yeah, I'm gonna do like an orange um, eyeliner thing for you guys though this week for sure. All right, so I'm gonna keep it like this. I'm also gonna go back in. Um, remember how I told you my eyebrows? So just see see how it's so much it's blended out so much better. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm looking at myself, I should probably blend it in in here a little bit more too. Again, I'm not using any more product, guys. I'm just going in with the brush just to make sure that it's blended properly. All right, much better. 
So I'm going to use my Anastasia Dip Brow pencil and just go over my brow a little bit. And you could just see, see this, see the difference? Honestly, it's really nice. And I know right now, like, the feathered brow look is in, so you guys can, like, you know, feather your brow up. That was really, really great with words, guys. Just feather it up. So feathered means, like, that. But, again, my eyes are microbladed. My eyebrows are microbladed, so... They're actually micro shaded, I should say. So it's almost, it's basically a tattoo. So I'm gonna go in a little bit darker here. And I do it really light because you can add more, but it's harder to take it away. So. All right, so next up, I'm gonna hit my lashes with some Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. Guys, I'm telling you, this is the best mascara ever. That's it, that's it. That's the channel, Legit Lashes. All right, and it has two sides, so it has, oh, what is happening there? What is that? Oh my gosh. What? Oh. I think it's like a little a little sleepy or something. I didn't get when I washed my face. Oh, it might be a little bit of extra eyeshadow. Okay. Whew. Sorry guys. It's so I'm gonna go in with the volume side first. I'm always making weird faces, sorry. Okay, so I didn't want to do an eyeliner because I do have long lashes and I really want the lashes, the black lashes, to pop off the orange eyeshadow. Because guys, it's the first day of Halloween, hello. All right, now I'm going in with the curl and define. And I'll do this a couple times too, but look at it. Look at that. I didn't use a curler or anything. I'm literally obsessed with this mascara. It's the best. Huda, if you're watching, thanks girlfriend. All right, I'm gonna go back in with the other eye. Again, the left is a struggle for me, guys, so. I always come back to this one, too, and I just, like, hit it again. Which is fine, because it doesn't get clumpy, which is nice. Because I do the volume first, and then I do the curl. So it kind of separates it out. Now, you can use whichever side you want for your bottom lashes. If you're a bottom lash person, I am. Um, see, I feel like my right just looks better. Go back in with a little more of this volume sign. All right, we're looking a little bit more even now, I think. What do you guys think? better okay i'm gonna go in with the bottom lash or i'm gonna go in on my bottom lashes just a little bit with my try not to poke my eye out here with my curl and define see i like it it's just a little extra pop again left eye A little extra something. All right, and because I did a bold eye, I'm gonna go with a nude lip. 
Um, anybody that's been following me for a while knows that I love to like get like crazy with lip colors. But I've been doing more of a subdued lip color lately because I've been doing a really crazy eye. So again, I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty. This is the Lip Contour 2.0. This color is called Honey Beige. All right. I outline my lips like low, like over. Make sure it's even. I fill it in a little bit. Okay. All right, so see how I overlined a little bit? And then I'm gonna go in with some Huda Beauty Liquid Lip in Wifey. You only need a little. Mm-hmm. See how that's not even? See guys? I'm not perfect. But I do like my makeup to look perfect. All right, and I did that in about I don't know, a half an hour. Now, the last thing you're gonna wanna do that I've had a lot of people that have been asking me what I'm doing. <sighs> setting spray. Love me some setting spray. Okay, this is the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. So, I mean, it goes great when you use it with the Milk Primer. This is no Milk Channel, no, I'm kidding. Um, and then you're just gonna wanna make sure that you're not like too close to it because you don't want it to be like, ah! You want to set it there. And then I got like some makeup in my hair. Like, what was I doing? I'm going to have to take care of that. But guys, this is my first YouTube. Yay. All right. So tell me what you think. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you want to see more of. Um, this is kind of just the first day of Halloween. I call the first day of Halloween. First day of October, the first day of Halloween, because obviously. Um, but I'm really excited to show you guys um, some more looks, and hopefully I'll be doing some Halloween tutorials. Um, so stay tuned, and thanks.